Yeah, you know, this year was the stars aligning. If anything good came out of COVID for us and for archery, it would be the fact that we're hosting these events together. I think World Archery and us as the LOC were put in a position that we were set up to hold the World Championship in Congress and the World Cup final would just be a natural, um, same place, same people, and a lot safer. So worked out great, everybody's excited, and I think everybody had an incredibly good time. You know, we started out with our relationship with World Archery in 2015 with the Youth World Championship, um, which I think was a great success. I think it showed everybody in World Archery and the other countries just exactly what kind of a community it was. And then we moved into the 2018 World Indoor, which was uh, a great success in the biggest archery center in the world. And then we, of course, had the World Championship, the World Cup Final, and the delayed World Field will be next year at this exact same time. We're pretty excited. We will have hosted everything. We've got one to go. And uh, we'll hope the 3D comes here before too long. We have something very unique to South Dakota and to Yankton, and that's simply the fact that we're a small community and the people love the archers for multiple reasons, but they welcome them with open arms and make them feel like they're part of the family. And when I see community people, when I see a mechanic and a farmer and a banker getting excited about watching archery, I know that I've succeeded at what I wanted to do. A vision that I had of bringing archery to here um, probably never included this much, so that's kind of the bonus, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just been an incredible opportunity to have these events together and to have them this year. We want to show the world that Yankton is not only a great community, South Dakota is a great state, and we can do this, we can pull it off, and everybody's happy.